Hey guys, how's it going? So I'm talking in today's video about how I got my shit together. So at one point in my life, I was in a state of chaos. Like I didn't know where, where I was going. I didn't really have a vision for myself. Uh, I was just floating around. And what happens when a person floats and doesn't really have a particular direction is they become easily manipulated, not just by other people, but, but by their own um, habitual tendencies, by their own sort of desires, by their own sort of um, bad habits. They become not solid, they become well, a little too wavy. And a bit of waviness, a bit of chaos every now and then is pretty damn crucial for a good life. But when it's when chaos reigns, uh, it doesn't do very well for us because everything's out of balance. But in this video, I'm talking about a few mindset shifts that allowed me to truly get my shit together and get myself on track. Now, in terms of where I want to be in my life, I'm not entirely there. I don't know if I ever really will be there but I'm a lot more there than I used to be. And I thought I'd make a video, because it's quite a high value video. A video that, if it helped me, these mind sh mindset shifts, these no bullshit mindset shifts helped me, then I'm sure they can help other people too. And I've got them written down, so I will keep referring to them, because my memory isn't so great. So first one is accept that your life is not where you want it to be. This is a crucial step. Because if you're going on this path, on this trajectory for so long, something needs to happen. Sometimes in some people's lives, something happens to them that causes them to then reassess absolutely everything and want to change things. But until that happens, you probably need to do that yourself. You need to accept that life is, it's, the trajectory of your life is not going in the way that you decided or you wanted. By making that choice, you then start to steer the ship in another direction. But it all starts with that choice first and that ownership that life is not going the way you want it to um, and from that position you can then take action which leads me to number two which is develop a vision for yourself so I struggled with this in the past because I thought um, my misinterpretation of Buddhism and the non-attachment thing was that if you wanted anything then on some level you it's, um, it's kind of a flawed proposition for wanting things. You're causing suffering by wanting things. But this isn't actually really the fundamental of what the non-attachment in Buddhism means. And I learned that a little too late. <laughs> or too early. I've learned it now. Um, but yeah, develop a vision for yourself. So I developed a vision for myself whereby I was um, a self-employed personal trainer. I had uh, my own schedule. And also, outside of session time, I was developing my skills and becoming a, a psychotherapist in, in that time. Um, and that is the vision that I've realised that's actually happening for me right now. But it all started by developing that vision and being okay with wanting to make it real in your life. So, so that's, that's how it worked for me. Developed a vision and then I made it, made it real with every little step along the way, bringing me positive emotion. So that's what you want to do next. Number three. Number three is take responsibility. So there's a lot of subtle blame games that we play. And I noticed this not only, um, not only in my own psyche, but also in my clients' psyches too. We blame not only other people, but outside circumstances, things that don't empower us at all. It's almost as if the blame gives us a sense of comfort really. Uh, and it kind of absolves us of responsibility and freedom which is quite intimidating, you know? Freedom and responsibility. You are completely free to sculpt and craft and change and, and create the life that you want. Um, there are certain limitations to this, but you do have the freedom, which is quite intimidating. So it's easier to blame other people. It's a lot more comforting to do so. But the problem with that is it keeps you stuck because the only person who can really, really change things in your life, from your perspective, your view of the world, the only person who can really change things is you. So by taking responsibility on your not only your emotions, your internal states, but also the things that you encounter, then change can happen that way. But while you're blaming people and other circumstances for your issues, um, you're just going to be bitter and resentful. And you see this often. So I don't recommend it. Take responsibility for yourself. It's very important. Number four is be truthful and honest with yourself and others. So things started to change for me really change when I started to adopt and um, internalize the value of honesty and truth and the importance of this cannot be overstated because when you are dishonest and you're telling yourself lies or you're living lies 
or you're telling other people lies. And when I say living lies, you're basically like telling yourself one thing in your mind but acting something else out. They call that in psychology a life lie. If, you're act if you are dishonest in your way of being, then what you're actually doing is you're not coming into contact with reality itself. You're coming into contact and you're operating, you're interacting with this mental fabrication, this fiction you have of reality. It's not the real thing. So when you're operating from the position of a fake simulation in your mind all the time, or, or most of the time, then the results in reality aren't going to be there because you're not interacting with reality. So being honest and truthful in every moment and operating and acting out, <laughs> pardon me, and interacting with reality itself from that truthful perspective, you have a greater chance of making reality, helping reality work for you how you wish. But if you're lying or living a lie, lying to yourself and others, then you're, it's fake. You'll not get the results you want. And number five, finally, we have make yourself and self-care number one priority. So a common theme with people in my personal training studio, uh, my clients, is that they struggle to make self-care a number one priority. They struggle to make their own needs, their own values, their own wishes a number one priority because they, they feel like they don't deserve it. Because they think they're being selfish and they don't des and that self that they're being selfish towards, they don't deserve this self-care. But actually, I like the whole phrase, you can't pour from an empty cup. And what I've often found in my life is when I make myself number one priority, I actually have more to give other people. And I've noticed this even in the past few days. Making self-care and my own needs and wants and wishes and my own desires and vision a number one priority. It actually, when you orient yourself properly in that way, you're able to actually give more to other people. Because you, you can't pour from an empty cup. If you're knackered, you're tired, and you're just following the crowd, you're not an individuated, integrated being, then you're just going to do and act out what everyone else is acting out. There's nothing you've not realized your own unique spectacular purpose, which is there, by the way. So we'll do a little recap, shall we? A little recap for, for folks who haven't got a good attention span. Basically, like me, I don't. <laughs> so how to get your shit together, mindset shifts. One, accept that life isn't the way you want it. Two, develop a vision for yourself. Three, take responsibility. Four, be truthful and honest with yourself and others. And five, make yourself and self-care number one priority. I think that's everything for today, guys. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you're able to get your shit together from all that. If you've got any comments or any questions, guys, I genuinely do want to know. If you've got any ideas for future videos to make, I want to know as well. Uh, I'm going to do my best as well, because I've got like... I know that one of my most popular videos is a, a, a video about not having a smartphone and uh, my ethos around that has changed quite a bit and now I've got like a really good camera on my phone so I might actually start and, start and overcome my, my perfectionism by actually just making some videos when I'm out and about so that should be quite cool to look forward to but uh, for now guys take care of yourselves take responsibility and uh, yeah just enjoy your life man it's about being all playful at the base of it, it's about play, really. Play and discovery, that is the aim of it all. <laughs> Take care of yourselves and peace. Presence to you. <laughs> Bye.